What's up guys? Welcome back to the shop. So in this episode, we're working on twin snail males air ride for the rear. We got some pretty cool things we're doing. We custom made all the brackets um, out of some plate steel in the plasma cutter, a bunch of die grinding and grinding. Uh, just kind of wanted to learn how to do it, plus been practicing doing some TIG welding. They still look like poop, been practicing a little MIG welding and just practicing, just trying to learn things. The whole point of this project is to grow and learn things, so you guys can uh, grow and learn with me. Maybe I can uh, show some of my mistakes and screw up so you guys don't have to make them. So let's take a peek at what we got going on on Twin Snail Mail. All right guys, so the first thing I did was I took an old uh, bush light box. 18 pack of bottles right there and cut out and started making some templates and some patterns. And the way I did that was uh, two and three quarter diameter for the axle. Um, and then I just kind of determined from a flat plate where the axle would sit, would I still be able to put a three quarter inch or one inch bolt um, into the bottom of the airbag without interfering with the axle itself. So I needed to have about three quarters of an inch by the time this sat on top of here. It gave us about three quarters of an inch, was about perfect. So I plasma cutted four of these bad boys out, just traced them on there, used a straight edge on the plasma cutter and I got some footage of it. Um, straight edge cuts worked really good. I had to freehand all the arches. Eh, a little rough, a little wonky. That took quite a bit of die grinding and sanding and belt sanding. I used the end of the belt sander in the uh, grinding disc stone thing. So got that one. This is where the airbag sits. This is just a five and a quarter by five and a quarter square with two three eighths roughly holes in them. And that's what the airbag sits on. So I'll have two of those, bing, bing, bing. And then this is my top plate. Kind of looks like a face mask, I suppose. But uh, this is the airbag mounting holes right here. And then this is the hole that the uh, air valve or air hole where you fill the air up. That's where the air goes. So the airbag goes. So this will just be welded right to the top of the C-notch. This is still kind of hot. Here it is in metal form some pretty fantastically ugly welds on there. And then on the top here, I just went and cut an inch and a half. I think that's what that was. Oh, it's, it's about an inch and three eighths. So I was originally gonna do an inch and then it just worked out easier if I just clamped the uh, piece of angle on. So it ended up being an inch and a quarter. And this is what's gonna give me my strength to keep this from folding. And then this will mount right on the top of The C notch, just like whoa. Beep. All right, there's my face mask piece. It's gonna go just like that. It'll get welded along here and all the way along here on both sides. So that'll be nice and solid. That'll keep this from moving up and down. This is what ties the airbag to the frame. There's my Slam Specialist 7, SS7. So it's a seven inch airbag. I believe that equates to the what is it, roughly the 2600. And here it is on the driver's side AK, the passenger side AK, the driver's side AK. I don't know what side it is because it's a right-hand drive, so I guess it's the driver's side. But there is my plate right there. And then there is the upper spring mount. And it's just tacked in there right now. Um, I just wanted to make sure it would function and go up. So my goal is to get that top plate welded on. I have the bottom plate tacked in, get that top plate welded on there or tacked in there. Um, and then hook up a couple air hoses to the airbags and uh, see this thing go up and down. See if I can get it to make sure everything's gonna cycle right. It's gonna slam all the way down on the ground and we're not gonna have any binding issues or airbag issues. So we'll keep it all tacked in for now. And uh, once we know everything's gonna work perfect, we'll go ahead and uh, welder solid burner home what's up guys it's a new night in the shop here and uh, tonight i want to see this ass drop and then go back up so really i think all i gotta do tonight is get this uh mount tacked in place and then wire up some hoses and by wire up some hoses i mean hoses up some hoses 
get some lines ran so that uh, I can plug the airbags into my um, air hose and then just turn the regulator down to whatever PSI and shut it off and get it to psh, psh. So what I'm doing here on these bags is I've got this upper mount set forward about a quarter of an inch from the center line at while well, it's driving down the road at ride height just to help because as the axle moves up it kind of rolls up and so just kind of split the difference from how far it moves forward so that that bag kind of stays centered and it's it's within reason these bags can take quite a bit of uh, misalignment um, but I figure as it's rolling up I want it to be a little closer to where center is when it's all the way compressed. I don't know, in my mind it just feels like that's going to be better for the bag and help it last a little longer. So I'm going to go ahead and get this guy tacked in and uh, yeah, we're going to freaking make this thing go psh, 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 psh. really excited about this. So I've got a mark just halfway here and then I've got one a quarter inch back. Forward, you silly goose, not backwards. Set my level on here. And line, this, line my lines up. And hold this thing level. Possibly. And we'll throw a tack in it. And of course it moved a little bit, so I'm going to go actually, yeah it moved a little bit, so I'm going to cut that tack and lift it. Tack. So now I'm going to run some airlines and do some boring stuff. I'll come back to you when uh, that's done. Come back to you when that's done, because yeah, why why run why run air hoses and stuff on camera and bore you guys to death? I'm sure you're already bored already with my boring ass videos. So I'll be back. All right. It lines up pretty okay. This lines up good enough. All my holes line up good enough to get the bolt started. That's pretty great. So basically what we're going to do here is we're going to get these things uh, tested. I'm going to cut this brace off the back. We'll cycle it through 9, 10 inches of lift up, you know, all the way down to the frame. We'll make sure there's not binding anywhere or no issues with anything.
to fix 50 pounds, so it'd be 100 pounds of weight to fully collapse the bag. And I don't think I have 100 pounds of weight on this frame. Well, it's kind of sad because I need to go down more. This is why we just tack things. We've got three and three quarter inches almost. It's fully collapsed and it needs to go down a ways. Son of a bitch. Well, that's sucky. We can't go down anymore. I think the way the bag is twisted, just a little bit, it's fully compressed on the top front edge, fully compressed on the back bottom edge, but that front edge is up and the back edge on the top is up higher. So I think that's where we're getting our inch at. I'm all the way over the lip here. We've got about a half inch on the top. I'm all the way over here. We got that half inch on the bottom. I think that's because that axle is rolling forward. That blue Sharpie line right there is about where these holes on the top line up. So if I slide that mount forward so that the holes line up when it's sitting on frame, I think that will help my misalignment issue. All right guys, they got the bag to completely collapse in there and it's really close. It's maybe still about a half inch up and the bag is gonna be rubbing on this mount when it's fully collapsed, so I'm not happy with that, so. Unfortunately, the only option I think, which isn't the end of the world, is we're just going to cut this back loose again, and I'm just gonna braise it up an inch. I'll just cut some metal strips at an inch, and then we'll weld it solid to here and weld it to there. Probably, I don't know, probably have to throw a gusset in or something somewhere just to give it a little more stability, but that's where we're at. Love it when a good plan comes together. What's up guys? So I was going back through the videos I recorded all last week and uh, yeah, long story short, apparently I'm a special needs victim and rather than hit the record button, I was just taking pictures because the mode on the GoPro got switched to pictures instead of record. So I have a bunch of pictures of just steel images of me like welding those on. So update, quick update, the airbag mounts are all in. They need to be cleaned up. I'm gonna come back here and cut and radius this. I left these guys wild because I didn't know how far in and out they were gonna go. Um, so I'll come in and do like a radius here somehow just to make it look nice and pretty. They're tacked in, everything functions and cycles as it should and uh, started getting some airbag parts. This was uh, way too good of a deal to pass up. Hopefully it all works. It's used off of eBay. Um, it's got the airlift, uh, what is it, 3P performance management unit, the two compressors and tank with the wiring harnesses, um, and two airbags, which I don't know if I'll be able to use those or not, but uh, picked those bad boys up. Uh, just shot them an offer of 500 bucks and he took it. So. Hopefully all that stuff works, that'll be awesome. Uh, I gotta do better about recording, making sure I'm getting stuff recorded, so I guess at this point, uh, on to the next project. Let's Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out our, our website, ftpspeedshop.com. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about what we're doing, and we'll check on the next one later.